Yo, what is up, you guys? It's your boy Tachi. Today, we're going to be reacting to horror short film Pruning by Alter. Um, um, so we've been reacting to a lot of horror short films, uh, horror short films, uh, one at a time. You guys seem to like that, uh, when I just do one at a time. Um, but we're just going to get into the video, Alter. Um, I've watched your videos for a very long time. This is a brand new video. I believe it's only a couple days old, I believe. Um, but anyway, let's the get into it. The is so indoctrinated into the cult of their own moral purity that they're not living in reality. Sexism, racism everywhere. The facts do not add up, but they don't want to hear it. Because if they do, they lose their victimhood. And their victimhood is their power. When a leaf on a plant rots, you have to prune it or the plant will die. If America is a plant, radical left ideology is the disease that's killing it. These fascists want to muzzle your free speech, strip away your rights, and take over our country, all in the name of authoritarian tolerance. Where's the horror part in this, We though? must find a way to prune the rot before it's too late. The media won't do it. Our elected officials won't do it. It's up to us. I'm Sammy Geller. I'm a proud American. And as always, thanks for being a free thinker. Oh no, not one of these. I'm not saying anything, okay? I'm not saying anything political, but then, you know, there's either, you know, I'm like, you know, I might get a little political. Um, you know, either side, like Republican or Democrat, there's always that one person that's always like, I'm a true blood American. Ronnie, grab my shotgun. You know what I'm saying? I, she's one of those. Now, there's your normal Americans, and you got these hard blood Americans. There's nothing wrong with it, but. Ooh. Good evening and welcome to the Robert you Report. Might, you might want to get some chairs for your dining room table. But you know, we cool. This is a very bland house. Very plain. And before any details emerged whatsoever, before the bodies could even be identified, liberal Twitter went insane, making their usual assumptions. He must adhere to right-wing ideology, they're saying. I can't and deal with it. I can't deal with this, bro. Get some paintings. Get some posters. Grab a vase. I know she had a vase in the background, but it looks like a beehive. God. It's triggering me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not normally a trigger person. Prune the... What? Why is she so mad? Oh. This is your problem. This is your problem right here. Unless you're a pure blood, listen. The way she was talking, talking about I'm a pure American, you better have a a hand, a gun on your side if you're walking around in a dark forest like this, bro. You should be not, you should not be running in a forest this dark at night. This is your problem. This is the problem. Why would you? Yeah. Oh, it was a nightmare. Okay, because I was just to say, like, no normal person would be running in the forest that dark. In a dark forest like that, bro. My gosh, her house don't got nothing. She don't got no posters, no paintings. Help. Oh, gosh. Oscar. I swear, I did everything you said. Okay, well, if you're not, I, s I see the problem. You see these brown leaves mm -hmm. down here. It is time to give Oscar a haircut. Okay, that's what I thought. I just get so scared of cutting. Bro, this cutting girl's the only hair. thing that has color in this house. Sometimes you gotta be a little ruthless to keep the things that you love alive. Okay, Ted Bundy. It's not terrifying at all. <laughs> Speaking of terrifying, how is that oral presentation? Mm. No? <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, I've been Can you please stay? Your plant and your clothes are the only thing that are adding color to this house. Susan, talk to me. Just want to make sure you prepped for the last word. You know, Mia's gonna come at you hard. Yeah, she's a comedian. I can handle comedian. Look, obviously your message is resonating with a lot of people. You know, your follower count's growing exponentially. But do you ever wonder who that message is resonating with? What exactly do you mean, Mia? 
it's resonating with a lot of people. I mean, people who voted for people who are stupid, right? Hey, I yo. didn't say that. We didn't have to. We all know who you're talking about. The people that you're so much smarter than. You think you're smarter than anyone who listens to me, right? You scream about equality this and empathy that, and meanwhile, you're walking around with this massive superiority complex, judging anyone who didn't go to Harvard or Yale. Freedom is under attack by people like you, who mock and punish anyone who doesn't agree with them. Do you feel free, Sammy Geller? Like, actually? Look, She's I don't got a miserable. I'm not really gonna lie. I think the way her right. house looking. Okay, you've you live a miserable a life. Message that resonates with a lot of people. But are you ever allowed to stray from that message? You know, can you ever just take a beat and acknowledge that you're wrong? Because I don't think you're as free as you think. She thinks. She, I think. I feel like she's very miserable. I am free, Mia. I'm free. Yeah, she's well, dead right inside. Then. Uh, let's talk about guns. We now know that Bradley Parker uh, legally obtained his AR-15 from a gun show through the gun oh, nah. he Bro, she a murderer, I'm telling you. License necessary. She's giving me like Patrick Bateman vibes, you feel me? Like with the White House. You feel me? She's giving me like American Psycho. What is this? <clears throat> it's open. Is this her daughter or Hiya. something? It's my speech. <laughs> I knew you would. <sighs> Why are you crying? Hey, is everything okay? I just, um... My friend's dad died. Oh. Oh, honey. Oh, I'm so sorry. Come here. Why is that? What happened? He was delivering a package to the Baldwin group and he got shot. Oh! Shoot! Out. Oh, I'm gonna blur this out for you guys. I'm like, blur it out for you guys. Please don't show that. What is in there? Hello? Bro, she's always wearing white, like... I'm telling you, she's giving me Patrick Bateman. Hey! Yo, I was smacked him. I ain't gonna lie. I was smacked you. We must you. prune the rot before it's too late. It's up to us. Wait. Lena, you knew what I did for a living. I knew you did new stuff, and I knew you made money being controversial, but this is different. People died. My friend's dad died. What does that have to do with me? Don't play dumb, Sammy. I'm not. He named you in his manifesto. He called himself the gardener, said he had to go do some pruning. The what? I'm lost, okay? I thought this was like- What people do is not my responsibility. Bullshit, Sammy! Look at them! Who? Kelly is never gonna get to see her dad again! Oh my god, I don't fucking care! Not really. And that is a tragedy. But it has nothing to do with me. I cannot be blamed for the actions of one mentally ill individual. Come on, Alina, you're so Oh, it's clicking now. When she did that talk, I think someone shot the person because what she said i'm getting it now it's clicking in my head i got it other than that she's very her stare is very like murdery like she wants to like murder someone but she gotta hold in restraint what's insane is that your numbers are soaring trending on every platform that's why that guy cursed at her i know now this is this is clicking i was lost there for a minute 
politicizing a tragedy. Uh, hold on, I'm getting a call. She's gonna die. She's dead. She's not gonna call back. I feel like she lives her life in fear. Oh! Okay, we don't... Okay, we get it. You shot someone. I, I feel like she lives her life in fear and just, you know... Sammy, what? She's not what happy. I said Elias Roberts wants you on. I feel like she's not really truly happy. Like what? she's miserable. Are you serious? She's afraid. They want you on tomorrow morning. Okay. Are you ready for this? I wouldn't. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Good. They're gonna want you to stick to the narrative, obviously. You get Is the T V company having uh, having her do this? Like eventually your own show. Congratulations. You got this. this. Like I feel like someone's telling her to do this. She's making all this money. And she really don't show me this. Bro, why do I get sick myself? Yo, she What did she just cough up? I know I just said it was disgusting. Was that hair? You what were you doing? You eating your hair? So I'm guessing her running could probably or Oh no, nah, we turn it around. We turn it right around. Yo, turn around with your Yo, bro, this homeless man living <laughs> pretty nice with the computer. She's right, you know. When a leaf on a plant rots, you have to prune it or the plant will die. Oh. <laughs> she about to die. What's happening to me? I don't get it. What? I want it out. And that is a tragedy. But it has nothing to do with me. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, she's dead in the bed. Oh, I thought she would. Was that leaves? 15 minutes. Thank you. I'm confused. I got a little bit in my system, but like. you in the puking don't be showing me this mm, I don't want to see it stop is that hair oh god God, what is that? What is that? Oh my God, please. What?
Is that a bit? An alien? Welcome back. In the aftermath of the Baldwin Group shooting, the blame game has, of course, been out of control. Joining me live now in the studio is rising political voice Sammy Geller. Sammy, thank you for being here. You're, of course, being blamed now for this shooting. And they're demanding an apology for something that you did not do and that you could not have prevented. So how do you respond to all this? Elias, what happened is incredibly tragic. But... What the f- 